A pharisis, Wikipedia article audio. A pharisis is a medical technology in which the blood of a person is passed through an apparatus that separates out one particular constituent and returns the remainder to the circulation. It is thus an extracorporeal therapy. Method Depending on the substance that is being removed, different processes are employed in a pharisis. If separation by density is required, centrifugation is the most common method. Other methods involve absorption onto beads coated with an absorbent material and filtration. The centrifugation method can be divided into two basic categories. Continuous Flow Centrifugation Continuous flow centrifugation historically required two venipunctures as the continuous means the blood is collected, spun, and returned simultaneously. Newer systems can use a single venipuncture. The main advantage of this system is the low extracorporeal volume used in the procedure, which may be advantageous in the elderly and for children. Intermittent Flow Centrifugation Intermittent flow centrifugation works in cycles, taking blood, spinning slash processing it and then giving back the unused parts to the donor in a bolus. The main advantage is a single venipuncture site. To stop the blood from coagulating, anticoagulant is automatically mixed with the blood as it is pumped from the body into the apheresis machine. Centrifugation Variables the centrifugation process itself has four variables that can be controlled to selectively remove desired components. The first is spin speed and bowl diameter, the second is sit time in centrifuge, the third is solutes added, and the fourth is not as easily controllable, plasma volume and cellular content of the donor. The end product in most cases is the classic sedimented blood sample with the RBCs at the bottom, the buffy coat of platelets and WBCs in the middle and the plasma on top. Types There are numerous types of apheresis. Donation Blood taken from a healthy donor can be separated into its component parts during blood donation where the needed component is collected and the unused components are returned to the donor. Fluid replacement is usually not needed in this type of collection. There are large categories of component collections. Two apheresis kit recalls were Donor safety Kit problems Plasticizer exposure Therapy Apheresis uses plastics and tubing, which come into contact with the blood. The plastics are made of PVC in addition to additives such as a plasticizer, often DEHP. DEHP leaches from the plastic into the blood, and people have begun to study the possible effects of this leached DEHP on donors as well as transfusion recipients. The various apheresis techniques may be used whenever the removed constituent is causing severe symptoms of disease. Generally, apheresis has to be performed fairly often, and is an invasive process. It is therefore only employed if other means to control a particular disease have failed, or the symptoms are of such a nature that waiting for medication to become effective would cause suffering or risk of complications. In 2010, the American Society for Apheresis published the fifth special edition of evidence-based guidelines for the practice of apheresis medicine. These guidelines are based upon a systematic review of available scientific literature. Clinical utility for a given disease is denoted by assignment of an ASFA category. The quality and strength of evidence are denoted by standard grade recommendations. ASFA categories are defined as follows. When an apheresis system is used for therapy, 
the system is removing relatively small amounts of fluid. That fluid must be replaced to keep correct intravascular volume. The fluid replaced is different at different institutions. If a crystalloid like normal saline is used, the infusion amount should be triple what is removed as the 3 colon 1 ratio of normal saline for plasma is needed to keep up oncotic pressure. Some institutions use normal serum albumin, but it is costly and can be difficult to find. Some advocate using fresh frozen plasma or a similar blood product, but there are dangers including citrate toxicity, ABO incompatibility, infection, and cellular antigens. Plasmapheresis Blood Plasma Plasmapheresis is useful in collecting FFP of a particular ABO group. Commercial uses aside from FFP for this procedure include immunoglobulin products, plasma derivatives, and collection of rare WBC and RBC antibodies, erythrocytopheresis red blood cells. Erythrocytopheresis is the separation of erythrocytes from whole blood. It is most commonly accomplished using the method of centrifugal sedimentation. This process is used for red blood cell diseases such as sickle cell crises or severe malaria. The automated red blood cell collection procedure for donating erythrocytes is referred to as double reds or double red cell apheresis, platelet pheresis blood platelets. Platelet pheresis is the collection of platelets by apheresis while returning the RBCs, WBCs, and component plasma. The yield is normally the equivalent of between 6 and 10 random platelet concentrates. Quality control demands the platelets from apheresis be equal to or greater than 3.0 times 1011 in number and have a pH of equal to or greater than 6.2 in 90% of the products tested and must be used within 5 days, leukopheresis leukocytes. Leukopheresis is the removal of PMNs, basophils, eosinophils for transfusion into patients whose PMNs are ineffective or where traditional therapy has failed. There is limited data to suggest the benefit of granulocyte infusion. The complications of this procedure are the difficulty in collection and short shelf life. Since the buffy coat layer sits directly atop the RBC layer, he's a sedimenting agent is employed to improve yield while minimizing RBC collection. Quality control demands the resultant concentrate be 1.0 times 1010 granulocytes in 75% of the units tested and that the product be irradiated to avoid graft versus host disease. Irradiation does not affect PMN function. Since there is usually a small amount of RBCs collected, ABO compatibility should be employed when feasible, stem cell harvesting circulating bone marrow cells are harvested to use in bone marrow transplantation. Evidence-Based Guidelines for Therapeutic Apheresis Fluid Replacement During Apheresis Baxter Healthcare Corporation, in which pinhole leaks were observed at the 2 omega end of the umbilicus, causing a blood leak, Fenwall. Incorporated, in which there were two instances where the anticoagulant citrate dextrose and saline lines were reversed in the assembly process. The reversed line connections may not be visually apparent in the monitor box, and could result in excessive ACD infusion and severe injury, including death, to the donor. Current risk or preventive limit values for DEHP such as the RFD of the US EPA and the TDI of the European Union can be exceeded on the day of the platelet pheresis. Especially women in their reproductive age need to be protected from DEHP exposures exceeding the above-mentioned preventive limit values, commercial. Platelet pheresis disposables release considerable amounts of DEHP during the apheresis procedure, 
but the total dose of DEHP retained by the donor is within the normal range of DEHP exposure of the general population, they. Baxter Company manufactured blood bags without DEHP, but there was little demand for the product in the marketplace. Mean DEHP doses for both platelet phoresis techniques were close to or exceeded the reference dose of the US EPA and tolerable daily intake value of the EU on the day of the apheresis. Therefore, margins of safety might be insufficient to protect especially young men and women in their reproductive age from effects on reproductivity. At present, Discontinuous flow devices should be preferred to avert conceivable health risks from platelet phoresis donors. Strategies to avoid DEHP exposure of donors during a pharesis need to be developed. Plasma exchange removal of the liquid portion of blood to remove harmful substances. The plasma is replaced with a replacement solution. LDL apheresis removal of low-density lipoprotein in patients with familial hypercholesterolemia, photopheresis used to treat graft-versus-host disease, cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, and rejection in heart transplantation, immunoadsorption with staphylococcal protein A agarose column removal of allo and autoantibodies by directing plasma through protein A agarose columns. Protein A is a cell wall component produced by several strains of Staphylococcus aureus which binds to the FC region of IgG, leukocytophoresis removal of malignant white blood cells in people with leukemia and very high white blood cell counts causing symptoms, erythrocytophoresis removal of erythrocytes in people with iron overload as a result of hereditary hemochromatosis or transfusional iron overload. Thrombocytophoresis removal of platelets in people with symptoms from extreme elevations in platelet counts such as those with essential thrombocythemia or polycythemia vera. Category I for disorders where therapeutic apheresis is accepted as a first-line treatment, Category II for disorders where therapeutic apheresis is accepted as a second-line treatment, Category 3 for disorders where the optimal role of therapeutic apheresis is not clearly established and Category 4 for disorders where therapeutic apheresis is considered ineffective or harmful.